Oh, do you hear that? I love that, love the sound. Water, there's a breeze, the birds are chirping. It's a beautiful day, almost spring. Not quite enough background noise for my comfort level, so if I'm talking quietly, it's just because there are people everywhere. It, all my neighbors house. Everyone came outside today because it's a beautiful day. I don't blame them. Oh, hey, what's up, garden friends? Jeff here, so what are you doing? If you're doing well, I'm great. I came outside so I could have some natural light. I know I'm in the shade, so you wouldn't think that it would make a difference, but it does. I've got some new pottery to show here. A few weeks ago, I went down a rabbit hole. This is really crop. Isn't that cool? So several weeks ago, I got a plant in the mail from the Green Escape. It was the Dragon's Breath Peperomia. And I mentioned when I got that plant that I wanted to plant that in something very special, which led me down a rabbit hole of some pretty interesting pottery on Etsy and Amazon. This was the pot that I picked out for it. Turned out way too big, not going to work, so I had to order another one. That's why there's no plant in here, because I had to get a new one. This particular seller takes a long time to get the pots. I think it took like three to five weeks for this one to show up, so there's another one in the mail. It'll hopefully be here soon. The point here is that I went down a rabbit hole of 3D printed pottery. There's some neat stuff out there. This one, more classy and artsy. And the next one that I'm going to show you that I'm really excited about, they, um, they have a different aesthetic. Three different pots here, some pretty wild patterns and colors on them. I haven't taken the wrappers off these yet, so I'm going to be giving my reaction to them right here on camera with you. I put them out of their package. They're in a Amazon box, nothing special, with a little bit of bubble wrap. These are multi-chrome pots, a multi-chrome filament that's used in the printers, and it gives them a color shift. So right now it looks pretty green, but when you turn it, you get to see some more magentas and there's some blue down on the sides and then it goes over to this nice blue color. You understand my obsession now? Not necessary at all for plants. And I don't know a lot about 3D printer filaments to begin with. I looked into 3D printers a while ago because I was thinking to myself, hey, I'm always needing small pots for things. Why not get a 3D printer? It's not for me. There's a huge learning curve with them. There's a lot of information to get to know about them so many different ones to choose from. It's something I'd be interested in the future, but not right now. So for now, I figured I'd just buy them. These are from Terrain, BJ, etc. Objects, probably what that was supposed to say. Seems fairly sturdy for the most part, has some squeeze to it. This other one, which is from a different seller, the one I showed you at the beginning, is much, much, much more thick. The inside is solid. That's going to be very hard to see on camera, but it's solid in there. Whereas this right here, what you see on the outside, you're just seeing the mirror image of that on the insides. So there's not an additional wall of plastic in there, which is probably fine. If you're just using it for a cash pot, it doesn't really matter. Or really any plants small enough to fit inside these containers, I don't think it would really matter, right? Like the wave pattern, I think that's pretty cool. These are also, if you're a textile person and you like touching on things, that might bother people, so I won't do it, but these are, they're fun to play with. Feels nice on the fingers, at least to me. I'm sure to some people not so much. This one looks cool even through the wrapper. That's got an, well, okay. I was gonna say that has a neat oh, texture to it. It's hard to speak. That is beautiful. That is so freaking cool. I love the pattern and the textures because these work by reflect, reflecting, <laughs> refracting different colors based on the angle of the light where it's going to be hitting the material. Having more waves and indentations in here, you can see more colors at once than you can with the other one. So there it is looking more of that greenish to emerald blue color and then you move over here into that metallic blue shine that starts to shift over to a purple when you turn it some more. Okay, I need to see what the other one looks like now. No reason to drag it on, may as well just pop it out and have a look at it because this one I anticipated being my favorite. <laughs> it's pretty nice. A little wild, but I like it. It's got the bumps, getting a combination of the best of both worlds in here with the swirls and the bumps. Color shift is more solid. So seeing the green mostly all at once and the blue mostly all at once and then the pink pretty much all at the same time. Whereas on this one in the background over here that I just showed, you can see multiple colors at once, which I think that's a neat touch because otherwise the only downside I can see to this is that in order to really get the effect of the pots, they're gonna need to be in a spot where you're walking around them fairly frequently so that you can see what they look like from different angles or maybe be on a turntable so that it's turning. And I don't know how much a plant would appreciate that. I don't think it would really hurt it as long as it's not moving fast. And those display turntables usually aren't moving very quickly, so I think it would be okay with something that was turning it slowly, right? 
maybe. And it's also going to depend on what you have planted in the containers as well. I haven't decided what I'm going to be putting in these just yet. There are a lot of options. I mostly just liked them because they look so freaking awesome. See if I can shift them so you can see it from all the different colors, the green, the blue, and that magenta e purple that I just ruined it. There we go, that's better. And I just thought they were really neat. There's so much to choose from with the 3D printed pottery. I don't know, this is where the comments come in nifty because like I said, this is all new territory to me, right? I don't know anything about 3D printing, a minimal amount because I did some research on buying a 3D printer. But do you think, like, will it be bad for the plants? I don't think it would be. There's different grades of plastics, of filaments that are used in these printers, different resolutions for the printers, various levels of heat resistance with the pottery. So like, I don't think I would keep any of these outside during the summer. They would probably melt. They just feel like it. They have some squish to them. As I mentioned earlier, they don't feel as solid as the other one does. For the size that they are, that shouldn't matter. I don't think nothing very big and hefty is gonna go in these containers. I think these are five and a half, six inches across. It's not like there's gonna be anything big, heavy, and bulky inside of these pots. They should all be able to handle whatever gets put inside of them. Be real here, these are just fun to play with. I'm really just having a good time moving them around to shift them, seeing all the different colors on them. That's, there's no other point to this video. I don't have any plants to stick in them right now. I was supposed to. This was supposed to be a plant video, but USPS is dragging their feet on delivering the plants that were supposed to be in today's video. So here we are. Looking at some just some weird pottery. That's all. I hope you enjoyed. Yeah, like I said, let me know if you know anything about safety concerns when it comes to the various types of filaments that are used in these. That was my main thing with not getting a 3D printer. I'm not gonna talk on this too much. This isn't a video about 3D printers, but I have a parrot and uh, unless you get really big ones that have a hood and ventilation, I don't think it would be safe to have in the house with the birds. So I'd have to keep it out in the garage and that's the whole thing because the humidity and everything out there. He said there's a huge learning curve that goes along with them and I don't really have time to pick up on engineering. That's a whole another thing on its own. I'm speaking about the ones that are big enough to print pottery things, you know, up to like a 12 to 14 inch pot. Very expensive and you got to spend a lot of time learning about them. And I figure this is makes more sense, right? I don't need a setup where anytime I need a pot, I can go ahead into the software, design something, and then wait, what, a day or two <laughs> for something to print out? And who knows if it would even be solid enough and the cost of the filament might exceed just buying a pot. Pros and cons, again, that's not what this is about, but let me know what you know, if anything at all, about anything that could leach from these plastics. I don't think it should be a problem. Most of the filaments are stable at room temperature. They have to be heated up to a pretty high point for the most part, before they start leaching anything. But you know, with microplastics and water and all that stuff, I don't know, maybe these aren't a good idea. I have no idea. We'll see how some plants do one up. You could also use it as a cash pot if you're not sure. Or just let me know which ones are your favorite. Have you been getting into the 3D printed stuff? Some favorite places to get some pottery? I'll link the sellers for these pots down in the description if you're interested in having a look. And I hope everybody's doing well. Having a great day, a great life, and everything's just going absolutely beautifully for you. I mean, it's really hard to get on camera, but inside of this one's beautiful too. I think this one, might be my favorite. It's a close tie between these two. This one's nice, but these two are screaming at me. I really love these pots, especially the, I think I like how many colors you can see at the same time with this one. That's probably why this is my favorite. I was saying goodbye. It's time to go. Hey, as always, and most importantly, everybody, keep on growing. Bye-bye.